Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 18U. Okay, the question says open the file that you saved at the end of task 18T. Find all the cars with a sale price of less than 4,000 euros and for these cars produce labels that have a picture orientation of portrait fixed side by side on the page and so on and so forth. So I'm going to be referring back to the question I've read it quite a number of times so you can go ahead to also read it. Okay? So first of all we're going to create a query based on uh, cars. Okay? And then of course make sure that the um the sale price to the S price is less than four thousand okay so I've I've already created the query for now just to save time okay so we've done quite a number of videos where we we created query so you can go back to those videos and then see how you can see the query I've already done that here and then if you go home to time you find out that I've already also um queried the table so it means um S price is less than 4,000 euros, so you can go ahead to do that. Okay, all right. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this and then go to create. And then this time around, from report uh, section, I'm going to choose labels. Okay, now I want to make sure that I have um, um, uh, this every J8166 um, is selected because it's in two number two across. It's going to give me two uh, columns, something like that. So you can choose any of these, those who have two or number of number across, you know, those ones, okay? So, but I'm going to just uh, leave the default, so you know what I need. So I'm going to go to next. Um, by default, I'm going to just leave the, what's it called, the font size and all this. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to adjust them later on. So here, the first thing I want to have is the header. See the header that I put right there. Um, yeah, have the 16 point center align heading, which is the heading special offer at the top of each level. So, what I'm going to do here is to have first of all, have a special offer. Okay, so I'm going to write that special offer. So, that's what I, I need to have there. So, the next thing I'm going to do is to have my to have all my fields okay so so the fields i'm going to have will be the first one is going to be make model all that so i'm going to just take the one by one make uh the first one will be make so you click on it then oh sorry i need to take my cursor down okay so make the next one will be Model, because so I need to I need to push my cursor down again. I'm gonna have model. The next one is gonna be a color and S price. I'm gonna have a color, plus color. Then enter again. I'm gonna have S price. Each other ones plus E and extras. Okay. I'm going to have here and extras here and then extra. So, oh, sorry, these are what I need here and extra uh, knives. Okay, so these are what I need. Okay, also the question indicated something that we need to also add here. So, we're going to have your name at the bottom right of each letter. So, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, I will simply add my name. Below, so my name is Kato. I'm late, so I'm going to add my name. So don't worry, we're going to uh, also adjust the font size and all that as indicated by the quest. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go to next. Okay. So first of all, we're going to sort. Okay, and the question in the case that was put to sort. So we're going to arrange this sorted into make and what model order. Okay. So what we're going to do is simply you push make to the right sorted by that and then push um, model. So it's going to sort by 
uh, make a model. Okay, we do the water all we need. All right, so we'll move to the next one. Now, here I'm going to give my label a suggestive name. So I'm going to just uh, put this. So I'm going to have a car uh, label sort of query. I'm going to have the label right there. That's the thing you. So, normally I like to have underscore in between. It's just a habit though. Let's do that. So, I'm going to have something like that. So be sure not to leave a space um, at, in front of cars because once you leave the space, it's going to be, there's going to be error. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to simply uh, modify the label. I'm going to click on modify the label of the button and then finish. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is simply, first of all, I want to move uh, this my name down a little bit further and then um, check I mean select all these controls move them down a little bit okay mm, a little more so let me just move this one a little more down okay uh, a little further to the right uh, something like that uh, I'm going to have um, also move this guy a little down also the control it down a little bit just to have a little more space. Um, what's the next thing? The next thing I'm gonna do, let me just check the question. I'm not sure what we're doing. So, the next thing I'm gonna do, um, the fonts okay, so which means that um, the header will be 16 point and also center align heading, okay, at the top of each level okay so what we're gonna do here is simply to have um this 16 point and then center line let me just uh, do that before I come back for the rest of it so first of all make sure that the control is selected then go to property sheet okay property sheet this time and then um, font size what can I say font size good so 16 by the port is 8 but I'm gonna make it 16 point what else uh, do you say? Okay, it's going to be center aligned. Uh, that's aligned to the next year. So I'm going to make it center aligned. And then the next thing I'm going to do, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, let me just check. Um, what else are we missing here? Portrait. So we're going to handle that side by side. Let's see. Our name is already there. So I think we are already done. So first of all, let me preview it. Now, sometimes when you preview it in the report, um, the report view, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be just um, one, one column. So, the best way to preview this is to go to print view. So, it's going to show you everything. So, um, yeah, so I think we are getting there. We are getting there. We are getting there. So, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do next, close this, uh, go back to design view. Go back to design view and then uh, move extra a little down okay just to make sure that all data will be contained and then um, let me just see if there's any that I'm, I'm, have your name at the bottom right of each page so so which means that the name has to be um, right aligned okay so the name here so I'm gonna I'm gonna select the control of course to the property sheet and then go to alignment, text align this time around. I'm gonna have it as um, right. Okay. So guys, just give me some few minutes. I need to switch up my UPS. Uh, okay, just have some power. Okay. So just keep. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. So um, let's continue. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is. Um, Select all this control. So because as you can see, by the time you go to the print preview, you find out that everything is already there with the names of the cars, the Ford, and all that. But we want to give labels to each of, um, of each of each of the data. Okay, so that's what we want to do right now. So everything is almost okay. But we want to give um, we want to make. Uh, them labels so what i'm going to do close this guy go back to my design view and then select 
all this data by putting down control key, move them to the right, maybe five, six, 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 seven, something like that. And then I'm going to go to um, label, then create label for each of them. Okay. Uh, I hope this is okay. So I'm going to write make. So this one will be make. And then uh, select that, copy and paste multiple times. That's the number of times you need them. Okay. So this one is make. Uh, the next one is going to be model. Model. Uh, okay, let me just move it a little further to the right. And then this also. I need to shape in them in such a way that they're going to be the same with what you have on the right. Something like that. So just take the time to do that. Okay. So I'm just going to copy start adjusting all of them. Something like that. Okay. So Anytime you make a mistake or maybe you want to preview, you can always go to the print preview and see how they look. Okay. So um, this guy, I'm gonna just push it up a little bit and then push this guy a little bit too up. Uh, continue well. So a little up, a little, a little up. Yeah. Put this guy to the side. Then move this guy up also. To the side. Okay, so I think we're almost done in some minutes. I think we are getting there. Yeah, okay, I think that's still the final one. So I'm moving to the left a little bit. So I'm going to simply copy this one too. I just want to have make at the top also. I'm going to paste that and then take it up to above the special offer okay but you know to be to look good the eye okay so um when you're done with this you can preview what you've done as you can see it looks better this way oh i didn't i didn't change the uh, the label the label name so i'm gonna go back right now and do that making sure i have model the next one is color the next one is color and then the next one is X prize. I'm gonna have X prize. And then I'm gonna have yay next. Yay. And then of course extra. Okay. So I think that's about it. Uh, so I'm going to first of all, another thing I need to do is to um, select all of them. Let me select them, select, 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 select all, and then go make sure that the font is um eight okay the point font okay and then uh, should i make them black mm -hmm. let me just look like that just uh, have something different let me just uh, sorry let me just uh go from again print preview see this so it's already in portrait as you can see here it's already in portrait also so i think uh everything is set right here so I don't think I'm missing any other thing. So for this, for this particular um, level over here, um, of course, if you go to the, it's not showing the extras. There's no extra for this. So if I close this and then go to my query, the original query which I used to do this, you find out that um, there's no extra for that particular uh, record. Okay, so it's quite reasonable in case you're wondering. Okay, so I think that's about it. All right, that's about it. So, if you have any question, you can leave a comment down below. All right. So, um, I know somebody might ask, um, how I picked all the data. Remember that I selected this. I just clicked on this before I, I started my level. So, it'll be easier for you. Just select the query which you want to do the level. Okay. Why? All right. So, I think that's about it. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, any addition. I'm open. You can um, leave a comment down below. I'm glad to answer that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share my video, like my video, and uh, God bless you. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next video.